We're on the big island of Hawaii and we're in uh, right by the water with a developing OTEC plant. Maybe you could explain what uh, OTEC is, Rich. Uh, OTEC is Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion and uh, we generate power by exploiting the difference in temperature between the deep ocean water, which is cold around 42 degrees Fahrenheit uh, anywhere in the world, and in the tropics where we are in Hawaii, uh, the water is warm. Um, you said the sun is the world's biggest solar collector. The, the ocean is the world's biggest solar collector. And in the tropics, between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Cap Capricorn, the water is especially warm. So being in Hawaii, uh, we get warm water all year round. And um, the difference in the temperature is what, what we use to make this, uh, this whole plant work. You use uh, um, ammonia, which when the ammonia is warmed up, it produces steam, which drives a turbine. That's right. And the deep sea water takes that steam, the ammonia steam, and uh, trans transforms it back to a liquid state. You haven't installed the turbine yet. When do you think the plant will be operational? Next March is when we're supposed to install the turbine. So probably next summer we'll, we'll be having our opening ceremony. 100 kilowatts, right? 100 kilowatts. And it'll be running operations here? That's right. It'll be right on top of these beams. What you'd really like to do is run a 100 megawatt version of this, which could pretty much power the whole island, the whole big island of Hawaii. That's right. A uh, 100, 100 megawatt plant, though, wouldn't be on land. The, uh, the water needs are way too enormous. Um, it would be a floating offshore type platform, probably a couple miles offshore. Uh, look like a little dot on the horizon, just like the oil platforms do in other states. All you need is a billion dollars. Something like that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jim Motivali.